In any city in America, a drug addict or an alcoholic can get a hot meal at a city mission. But what about a child who is the victim of the drug addict and the alcoholic? I moved to Albany, New York about 13 years ago. I soon found out that 59% of these children were on subsidized lunches during the school year. So my question was, who feeds these children? When they're out of school, I decided to make 25 lunches and take them to the city park. And little did I know this was going to be the beginning of a children's feeding program that now feeds 50,000 meals a year to inner city children. I decided to build a center that would be able to make meals for children who live in these areas that are challenged by poverty and drugs. On the day we opened this feeding center, over 150 children from the neighborhood came and received a hot meal. Now, when children are out of school, any day they can receive a free meal. Every holiday, we have a special meal. And this Christmas, over 200 children came for Christmas dinner. And this month, we're gonna complete a new feeding center in the south end of the city. This is it, take a look. This is a feeding center for at-risk children. I don't know any other city that has two feeding centers for at-risk children. This is how you're gonna help us plug in to get all the computer equipment, the copy equipment that we need to go on strong so that we can share with other cities about what we do here in Albany. Toshiba, welcome to our 30,000 square foot warehouse that we've opened up for a thrift shop to help some of the poor families in the neighborhood. When people get burned out, we help donate all the furniture. My father, as you can see, he's one person and he came into the city and he built a feeding center, one feeding center and now the effects are just multiplying. And when something needs to be done, he never sits around and waits for anybody else to do it. He just gets up and, d and does it. There's so many needs that are around us that if we just open our eyes, we can see and we can truly make the world a better place.